Careful. Have you ever thought about in the future doing an album of cover songs of not just older songs from the 40s and 50s, but even more modern? I would love to see you do The Carpenters and other great vocalists like that in your style. I mean, I would totally do a standards album and include a Carpenter song. Like, I think many of those songs are considered standards nowadays. Yeah. I don't know if I'd do like super modern ones, just, I don't know. I feel like I enjoy taking something that's maybe had a past life and bring that to new audiences, but um, I feel like if there's like a lot of awareness, unless it's like a fun, very, very different kind of version. But. Cool. Any other questions? Yeah, in the back. Um, when you played the Billy Joel at Reddit, did you get to talk to him at all? Did you get to interact with him? I did, yeah. I, he's, he's so cool, he's so talented. Like during rehearsals, he was just jamming the whole time and he was like playing 
jazz one second and the next he was like whipping out Beethoven. It was the most kind of insane combination of skills that I've seen um, displayed in a really short amount of time. Um, but he was really, really sweet and really kind and got to sit with him during the Grammys as well. Which was really cool. My favorite key signature, oh. I really like B flat major. I don't know why, I think it like settles well with my voice. I also really like E flat, any E flat minor, E flat major. I love E flat. Oh, okay. So. Oh. Oh, it's okay. So I'm 91, and I go back to Uno with Stan Getz and and uh, Chet and Chet and so wow, on. Wow, that's incredible. And I think it's wonderful because you know I talk to some of my old friends, and we say that music's gone. The kids don't know about it. And here you can come oh, on, wow. and it's a wonderful thing that everyone can relate and go back. That's, that's so you. sweet. Thank you for sharing that. That's so cool and so yeah. special. And I think you'll find the kids aren't listening again, which is, which I love. <laughs> His question was, if you go back in time, what would be your ideal Blue Note concert that you would have loved to see? Oh my God. I mean, I would have loved to see Bill Evans, probably. Chet Baker. Yeah. And Ella Fitzgerald. <laughs> A lot of people. <laughs> Um, what has been your favorite lyric that you've written so far? Um, such a hard one. I mean, all the lyrics in Letter to My 13-Year-Old Self, I think, are really special to me. Um, maybe, maybe that. That was one of the songs that I like wrote, and I was like, oh, thank God it rhymes, because I said everything I wanted to say. <laughs> Sorry? When I'm in New York. Oh my god, uh, a lot of things. I love, I mean, I love Brooklyn. Like, I love walking around like Brooklyn Heights and Cobble Hill. Like, that whole area is very romantic to me and I love it. Um, walking around Central Park is a classic. I walked around there today and I was like, wow, there's no diminishing returns. Like, every time I walk there, it's very, very special. Um, I love the Upper West Side, it's my favorite area. Probably because like there's just so much cool like classical like all the classical musicians and like people that still live there which I think is cool. Um, yeah, I come to Zabar. This is like my favorite place in the world. Um, yeah, a lot of things. I like going watching the New York Phil. It's always really nice. Like, yeah. Another question? Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to ask like what your songwriting process is like. Like you like sit down and just like go at it or is it like Yeah. I always have I always have song titles and concepts in the back of my mind. And I sit down either with a guitar or a piano and I just kind of do everything at once. Like I don't really do lyrics first or melody first. I write everything at once. But yeah. Kind of I write both when inspiration strikes me and also when I'm like, alright, I'm writing a song today. So can I ask a second question? We got someone in the back. Here, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you hadn't discovered jazz music, what other genres would you do it like delve into? Like rock music and more music? Oh my god, I don't even know. I mean, I would probably be a classical musician. I mean, I thought I was going to be a cellist my whole life, so. Probably. But that's a boring response because that's the most predictable response. Um. <coughs> No. No. Maybe like country or like like kinda like blues. Which is very close to jazz. But anyone else? Any questions? See if we can get any other takers no. for first time question. Yeah. What's your favorite Sanrio character? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Doraemon a Sanrio? No. 
What's something like touristy and fun in Iceland? Oh my god, I mean, Iceland is one of those places where I'm like, go go do the touristy thing, it's so worth it. Like, it doesn't feel that touristy and no one's, no one's like watching over the waterfalls, you know what I mean? There's no like waterfall keeper, really, that's like, so it feels very much like you're walking just in the middle of nowhere. Um, I, I would say all the touristy stuff is super worth it. All the Icelanders do the touristy stuff as well. I grew up doing that, like going to see those waterfalls and beaches and there weren't any tourists there, and we still just do it, because it's so special. Yeah. I know Taylor is one of your biggest heroes. Did you get to meet her friends? I did. Yeah. I did. She was awesome. She was so cool. Um, definitely, I, I feel like there was like a force around her of just power. What do you think of the new album? I love it. I love the new album. I'm like, this song, um, I can do it with a broken heart. It's like so good because I feel like there's so many moments where, because she's singing about going on stage even though she's like super broken hearted. And I'm like, like I had like a really bad stomachache the other day. And I was like, lights, camera, action, bitch. Like get on stage and like, we'll finish the set, you know? And so that was, that was like, okay, if Taylor can do it, I can do it. Um, and I love the black dog as well. I think it's really good. It's lyrically dense, so it takes time. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, loving it. So. Thank you. Anyone else? All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you, you. Lebe.